Have you ever sat down to practice and felt that, you know, even after just a couple of minutes, your hands start to feel incredibly tired? You know, maybe your left hand, you know, is just a little fatigued, or maybe it even starts to cramp. But these issues all add up and really get in the way of any sort of progress that you're trying to make that day. Unwelcome left hand tension can have a lot of repercussions on your technique. For example, it can make shifting from one position to the next very challenging. It can make transitioning between chord shapes you know, very difficult. And it can really um, make it almost impossible to move fluidly and gracefully through any scale passage. I think this issue with left hand tension is really a matter of perception instead of an actual difficulty. So as soon as we start to conceptualize something as difficult, our body starts to act it out. You know, all of a sudden, as we approach a difficult passage, we really start to choke down on the guitar, you know, pushing as hard as we can to make sure we have a clear and beautiful sound. But in reality, it really takes you know, only a fraction of that effort to get the string to sound. And if we can play it with this minimum amount of tension at all times, and make that our habit, then all of a sudden playing becomes so, so much easier. So take for example, you know, one of the first major challenges we have to overcome as guitarists, bar chords. You know, at first, we think we have to push down as hard as possible. You know, it's an overwhelming amount of effort. But as you get more comfortable, you start to realize, you know, for example, you can be more selective with where you place the weight. All of a sudden, a, a very difficult technique starts to become easy. And this is the kind of impact that we're talking about. So I want to share with you uh, now a simple exercise that you can do every day to start finding this minimum point of pressure, right? And start making that a habit. Okay. So it's a very simple exercise, and it's based off just a short uh, chromatic passage that can really be done in any position. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to do it in first position here. And you're going to start off by just placing your finger on the string, right? So that it doesn't sound at all. You should get a dull thud. And with each finger, starting with the first finger, just make sure you can see it, you're going to start by just applying a little bit more pressure, more and more gradually, and sounding the string. And you want to find the point where the string buzzes. Okay? So after you find that buzzing point, it's just a very, very tiny amount of pressure that you need in order to get the string to actually sound. So, for example, with the first finger, I find the buzz, and then just a tiny bit more pressure, the string sounds perfectly. I repeat this with my second finger, buzz, just a tiny bit more pressure. Third finger, I get the buzz and just a tiny bit more pressure. And then again with the fourth finger, and I do this on every string all the way up and all the way down. So once you get used to this exercise, you can start applying it to your regular repertoire. You know, anything that's causing you um, an unnecessary amount of left hand tension or fatigue. So, for example, in the last couple weeks I've been preparing a piece um, by Augustine Barrios, the Cathedral, and the third movement has an arpeggio passage that starts off like this. the exercise to that, um, you really just want to buzz every single note. For instance, this first note, the B, starting off with a buzz. And in the case of arpeggio patterns, kind of sustaining that amount of tension. So it's as simple as that, just buzzing every fretted note. And you'll notice that when done over a long period of time, you know, a few times a day or at least once a day um, for a week or for a couple weeks or a month, 
um, you'll notice that all of a sudden that's going to become your default, right? That's going to become the amount of tension that you revert back to. So good luck with this exercise. Do it every day. It's going to make a big impact on your playing. Good luck.